Scott Morrison has been grilled on Islamophobia and whether he tried to exploit it in a TV interview running well over 30 minutes. It comes as the Prime Minister continues to rule out putting One Nation last on the Liberal Party's How to Vote card. Kerry Yaxley reports. Well, in a tense okay, talk well, about, um, and at times awkward interview, have, I'll let you finish. finish. I apologise. Scott Morrison acknowledges Islamophobia is a problem. There's no doubt that that exists in Australia. But not within the government. I don't think the Liberal Party, as a, and a total group, has that problem? No, I don't. And I don't think the National Party does either. He denied a media report claiming he once encouraged colleagues to take advantage of concerns over Muslim immigration, but says he did raise the issue in a shadow cabinet meeting in 2010. I was acknowledging that there were these fears in the community and that we had to address them, not exploit them, actually seek to try and address them. One Nation leader Pauline Hanson has been criticised for her anti-Islamic views and stunts. Pauline Hanson, is she a racist? Look, Pauline has expressed extremely strong views on these issues over a long period of time. I think some of the things that she said have been racist. Labor is calling on the coalition to put One Nation last on all How to Vote cards in the upcoming election. Mr Morrison now has to demonstrate a true test of leadership. Put the country first, but one nation last. We'll make that decision in accordance with our normal process. And in the wake of the Christchurch massacre, the head of the Department of Home Affairs has issued a strong warning to white supremacists living in Australia. You are on our radar and you will not be able to incite the racial strife that you seek. The scrutiny and pressure that you are under will only intensify. Kerry Yaxley, Nine News. A meeting is underway in Turkey tonight condemning the country's government for words that appeared to threaten anyone travelling to Gallipoli for Anzac Day. Hugh Whitfeld is in Istanbul tonight. Hugh, one of the aims is guaranteeing the safety of Australians and Kiwis who travel for Anzac Day. That's right, Mike. Australia and New Zealand are working together to make sure anyone who travels here to commemorate the 11,000 lives lost during World War I is safe. New Zealand's Foreign Minister Winston Peters will meet with his Turkish counterparts to make sure that is the case. That meeting will take place on the sidelines of an emergency summit of Islamic leaders that is getting underway right now here at this hotel in Istanbul following the Christchurch attacks. Australia's delegation is led by our ambassador to Saudi Arabia and a short time ago, Sir Winston Peters addressed the summit. And his extremist ways are not our ways. And to be clear, in New Zealand, hate speech is not tolerated. New Zealand is and will remain a safe and open society, a place where our international visitors feel comfortable and secure. Australia and New Zealand are worried after Turkish President Erdogan suggested at election rallies any Aussies and Kiwis who arrive would be sent back like their grandfathers in coffins if they were linked to any Islamophobia. An advisor says the comments were taken out of context and that Australians are always welcome. Right now the travel advice for Turkey is at its second highest level. It could be raised to do not travel if the talks here do not go well. Mike. Hugh Whitfeld in Turkey, thank you.